A ransomware attack has taken down the largest gasoline pipeline in the USA. The Colonial Pipeline carries 2.5 million barrels of gasoline and other refined fuels per day. The pipeline runs from refineries in Texas to destinations throughout the eastern USA. This is the biggest impact for a cyber attack on physical operations at a critical infrastructure in U.S. history. Reports attribute the attack to a criminal group called Darkside. Darkside is known for their ransomware attacks. A recent report by Cyber Reason estimates that the group has targeted well over 40 victims, with ransom demands ranging from 200000 to $2 million U.S. dollars per incident. This attack on the Colonial Pipeline is consistent with recent trends. In a recent survey of 2020 cyber incidents that impacted physical operations, Waterfall Security Solutions observed that all such attacks were targeted ransomware. Ransomware that was deliberately planted using modern targeted attack techniques. While next-level details of the pipeline attack have not yet been released, targeted attacks generally start with phishing or spear phishing attacks designed to steal remote access credentials or to activate malware. The malware may be embedded in email attachments or may be malicious downloads that the victims are deceived into downloading and running. In all these cases, the planted malware is a RAT, a remote access trojan. The malware connects to an internet-based command and control center, and the attackers use the control center to remotely control the RAT. The attackers use the RAT to steal additional credentials and move through the victim's network until they find valuable information or operational assets. They generally steal copies of those assets and then encrypt everything they can reach. The really bad news is that these targeted attack techniques, such as spear phishing, RATs, and manual operations of the RAT via the control centers, these attacks were used pretty much exclusively by nation-state attackers only 5 to 10 years ago. Criminal groups seem to be trailing behind nation-states by roughly a handful of years in their capabilities. If this trend continues, we should expect criminal groups only a few years from now to be targeting us with attacks as sophisticated as the recent nation-state solar winds or pulse VPN breaches. The good news is that robust defenses against these kind of attacks targeting critical infrastructures are absolutely doable. This is the topic of Andrew Ginter's most recent book, Secure Operations Technology, or SecOT. The book documents the security practices of the world's most secure industrial sites. The heart of the SecOT methodology is cataloging information flows. Ransomware is cyber sabotage, and all cyber sabotage attacks are information. The only way an industrial system can change from an unsabotaged to a sabotaged state is for attack information to enter the industrial system through a cyber perimeter. That perimeter may be online, such as through a firewall, or offline, such as through a USB carried past security into the site. A comprehensive inventory of ways that information can enter an industrial system is also a comprehensive inventory of cyber sabotage attack vectors. With such inventory in hand, secure sites set about systematically controlling all of those information flows and attack vectors, preferably with physical, unhackable security controls. These sites do use software security tools as well, but see those tools as secondary security measures in a defense-in-depth posture behind the primary physical mitigations. Targeted ransomware has emerged the most capable of today's commonplace attacks. We should expect nation-states to continue inventing more powerful kinds of attacks. We should expect ransomware groups to adopt nation-state techniques over a course of years. This means that we should start looking to what today's most secure industrial sites do to address these threats as we seek to strengthen our own industrial security programs. To this end, Waterfall continues to make the SEC OT book available for free to qualified practitioners. Click the link in the description to claim your copy today. And to learn more about the kinds of cyber attacks threatening critical infrastructure today, Check out our series covering the top 20 cyber attacks on industrial control systems and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on everything industrial security.